Welcome to A Taste of Torah with Rabbi Carol. We are ending the book of Devarim Deuteronomy, which means Rosh Hashanah is soon coming up. So we'd like to invite you to join us for our evening Rosh Hashanah service on September the 15th and our morning service on September the 16th. But to this week's Parsha, it is entitled Ki Tetze. And this year we've been looking at the first Aliyah, which is found in Deuteronomy chapter 21, verses 10 through 21. Now, this, uh, we're in a section of Deuteronomy which, where God is giving just different instructions on uh, social relationships and how we need to deal with people in our society. And the first part of this uh, Aliyah talks about when you go out to war and you take captives. And part of the pa pa practice in the ancient world, not just in Israel, but we know from the Mari text that they had similar practices and, and regulations that uh, covered when you found a, a female captive who you now wanted to take as your wife. And so God gives very specific directions on what needs to be done to bring that person into your household and into uh, your family to become your wife. And the next part talks about uh, our sons and, and daughters and about being obedient to our parents. And when I look at things like this, sometimes we can get a little like, okay, that's a lot. Well, I get the obedience part, but uh, I'm not going to bring a captive wife in and clip her toenails and <laughs> fingernails. What does this have to do with me? Well, I would like to encourage you that what it says to me is that God is concerned about how we conduct ourselves and how we treat other people, both those who are part of our community, because these prisoners were not initially a part of the, the community of Beth, of Beth Emmanuel, <laughs> of Israel, but they were being brought in. And so we need to be very careful how we treat other people. I've said this to many people who have come to me struggling with relationships. Sometimes it's uh, a wife struggling with her husband, a husband struggling with her wife, a friend struggling with her friend. And I said, this is a good way to handle how you deal with this relationship. Look at that person as a child of God. How do you think God would treat his child? Then you need to do the same. And so passages like the Aliyah this week remind me of that. God has created each and every one of us, and we need to uh, value the people in our lives, uh, both those who are close and just acquaintances that we have as children of God, and value them in the way, same way that he does. Think about it. God so loved the world. I know that's a big thing, but it really means he loved every single person that he sent his one and only son to die for us. That is great love, we're told, but Messiah demonstrated his love by offering himself as a sacrifice when we didn't deserve it. So when we think about the great sacrifice God made because he loved every single person on this earth, then it helps me to love people in the same way that God did. So I'm going to wish you a Shabbat Shalom. I did make challah this week. It was not my recipe from college, uh, but it came out and not too bad. I already had to taste a piece because I love hot bread. But we hope to see you tomorrow morning at Beth Emanuel. 10 o'clock is our Kesha Cafe. Come for a cup of coffee. And then our service starts at 11 a.m. I know God has a word for us tomorrow. We're starting a three-week series, uh, The Greatest uh, Request. And we hope you will join us. And if you're not here on Long Island, you know you can always join us on Facebook or our YouTube channel as we'll be streaming. Shabbat Shalom. God bless.